Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle-Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle-Earth has to offer, and maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Yes, we have a very special painting ready for you today. What we have is we're going to paint, oh, you know, Shadow Facts, the Lord of the Horses from Middle Earth. That's right, the Chieftain of the Horses. Oh, and we're going to do, we're going to do sort of a portrait painting today. We don't do these very often, and I don't think I've done one like this at all. And since I've been painting these episodes. So we have not done a thing to the canvas to prepare, except what I've done if I, I've lightly put an outline of our shadow facts. That's right, the horse, just lightly on there. And we're going to come in with some black gesso and we're going to put down, we're going to put down the silhouette of shadow facts. That's pretty weird, a bright white horse we're putting down some black for. But we'll come back, we'll let that black gesso dry, and we'll paint right over it. So let's get to it. That's right, that's right. I am happier here. And as I said, I've got a light drawing right on the canvas. We don't do that very often. Most of the time I just come in and I just start throwing paint on the canvas. That's right, that's right. But today, this one has a little more detail. You have to you have to paint a horse in a certain way, otherwise people won't recognize it. It's a horse. It might look more like the watcher in the water. Oh, that's one we need to paint too, isn't it? All right, so we'll come back. I'm using this black acrylic gesso that you'll be able to paint with your oil paints right over the top of. That's right. So we're just going to come in here and we're just putting our shape of shadow facts down. And we'll come back and we'll put all the details on our horse. That's right, just come in. And there we go. Now you know this part of the story. Oh, it's a very, very exciting time in our story. Oh, that's right. My grandpappy Took and my grunkle Mary were in the care of Treebeard at that time. And the three hunters, Herogorn, Legolas, and Gimli, they had gone into the Fangorn forest, looking out, trying to catch up to my grandpappy Took and my grand, uh, or my grunkle Mary, that's right. They had gone in there, trying to escape the orcs, but, our party of hunters, they came upon somebody they did not expect. That's right, Gandalf the White. Gandalf the White, he came back. Yes, he did. Oh, so happy when I heard that part of the story. That's right. That's right, he did. So this will be Shadow Facts. Oh, and it's so dark, you're like, oh no, Timbo, that's a Black Rider's horse. You're doing it all wrong. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll go over and we'll make this shadow fix. And if this works out, maybe we'll do one of those, oh, one of those Black Rider's horses. That's right. Oh, yes. There we go. Just right up here with an ear. Put that in. There we are. And you see, we're just going to fill all this in. I could probably use a bigger brush. Normally, you know, I use those big two inch brushes. I just thought this one would be a little easier to do the details along the edge when you're trying to be a little more exact. That's right. Normally we paint mountains and trees and things, 
and we just let the canvas decide what paint it wants to take and what it wants to give back. That's right. But in this case, oh, we want Shadow Facts to look like a horse. There we go. You do those outer edges careful and then you just come in and you fill it in right in here. Now this is that black acrylic gesso. This dries very quickly. That's right. We'll be able to just go check on our greens and then come back and paint right over the top of it with our oil paints. You'll see. You'll see. There we are. And we're just going to come here. That's a delicate part there. Some detailing you have to put in. There we go. There we are, and you can see the silhouette now. Now you can see the silhouette, it's starting to take shape. I hope it looks like a horse. I hope it looks like a horse to you. There we go. And just do these details along the edge. I hope I'm not in your way too much. I do that a lot. I bend right over in front of, in front of your view and I block it out and you're like, Timbo, what are you doing? I can't even see. I don't really even think you're painting. Oh, that's right. There we go. Oh, I hope many of you like to go on these adventures in Middle Earth. I know I do. I do. I love them. My grand... My Grand Gafford Gamgee used to tell me all the stories of his adventures with old Mr. Frodo and my Grandpappy Took, my Grunkle Mary, that's right, and of course the Fellowship. And the reason why I can bring all these adventures to you is because the Blue Wizard would come to the Shire once a week when I was just a boy and he'd teach us all how to paint. That's right. You know the Blue Wizard. Bob Ross the Blue? Oh yes, that traveling wizard. Once a week he would stop by when I was just a small hobbit and he'd show us all how to paint and he'd say, you know what? You can do it. Don't worry. Just start. Just try. And that's what I did, and that's what you can do, too. And I hope by me coming in and, and trying to do some of these paintings for you, it might inspire you. I know I've seen, I've seen some of your paintings that you do. Some of you send them to me. And, oh, I think sometimes you understand the painting better than old Timbo. That's right. Oh, but we're just having fun. We're just having fun. And while you're there, while you're there watching this, if you wouldn't mind just hitting that like button, hit that like button, leave me a comment on the video anytime you do something like that. If you share it with a friend, all of that lets the Council of YouTube know. When they're looking at all the videos on YouTube, all the things that people can watch and see and wonder. And they'll go, oh, you know what? Some people like this old Timbo guy. That's right. That really helps. That helps. That council YouTube lets them know that you like what you're seeing. Or maybe you just like to put it on and fall asleep. I've been told I'm pretty good to take a nap too. I don't mind. I don't mind. You can turn it on, take a nap, and... Wake up and see what the finished product is. Or you can paint right along with us. Oh, we just tell stories along the way. 
There we go. Fill that in right down there, right to the corner. There, and you can see our horse. He's taken shape. Oh, but he needs another ear up here. Uh, that's right. Right there, right there. Horses need ears. That's right. Oh, and Shadowfax was listening when oh, Gandalf the White and Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas, they came out, followed the Entwash down out of Fangorn Forest, and they came out and they thought they were going to have to walk a long, long way because their horses were gone. But old Gandalf, he gave a whistle, gave three long, clear whistles. Maybe something like this. Oh, what a whistle. I'm sure I don't do it justice at all. But, oh, Shadowfax heard that whistle and he came a running. That's right. He came looking for his master. Well, I don't think Gandalf was his master. He was his own master. But they had a friendship. They had a friendship. Old Shadowfax was willing to help him out in a pinch. Very handy, as old Gimli would say. Uh, that's right. So there we go. We've got that. Now Shadowfax had a mane, mane of hair. Let's make this ear a little taller. There we go. Now there was a mane of hair and this. We're not going to fill that in all the way. That's we're just giving the appearance some shadow in there. When we come back and we paint that, we make that white, this big white flowing mane. That'll just give us some shadow. Under that mane, there we go. Just bring that up. There we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry. Let's go check on our greens. Our greens at the Green Dragon. That's right, we'll be back, we'll be back. It won't be long for you. Maybe a little while for me, maybe a little longer than I anticipate. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. And now that black gesso we put down, that's dried and we're ready to go. I went to the Green Dragon and oh, I just uh, checked on my greens as I usually call it. But well, it's completely dry now and let's get back to this. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to set this palette aside just a moment. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to put in some of that liquid white, that magic white that Bob Ross the Blue taught us how to paint with. That's right. That's right. We're just going to come up here and we're just going to put some of this in just over here. And we'll just mix this in. This is just putting Putting some white, if you have to, put a big old hobbit foot right on your easel. There we go. This is just putting in some background. And oh, you can see. We don't want to go on that too much, but that's okay if we go right on top of it. There we go. We're going to come in here. We just want every part of the canvas covered with a little bit of paint. There we are. Maybe a little more. And we're not really going to be painting out here. We'll put some color in just so it's not stark, that stark white. But we want to put this liquid magic white down first before we get into that. There we are. Of course, I am picking up some color right off the easel there. And that puts some color on there too. That's uh, not necessarily the color we want on there, but that's okay. That's okay. Just bring it down this way. There we are. 
So we've got that magic weight, that liquid weight put down. And let's just set this brush off to the side. Or we don't have to. We can just mix it on the brush. Now I have that burnt sienna color. And we just, we're going to just thin that out a little bit. That burnt sienna. This is just going to make our, our background just give us something that the painting is put against. And we got that there. And we're just going to put this in just through the back. There we go. Just kind of streaking some of that in. There we are. And right up here. And what we'll do, this is just, this is just a background that's on there. Just, it's not supposed to be anything or any place. We'll just do it like that. Now I'm going to set this off to the side. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to our blender brush. Well, we love this brush so much. Now we're just going to blend this together. That'll just give us a background that's... We're not just staring at a plain background, but we just blend those colors. Just blend that all together. There we go. That just adds to it. Oh, we got a little on there. We didn't mean to, but that's okay. That's okay. Just mix it in up here. There we are. We don't want it blended too much, but we just want there to be a background. There we go. Easy as that, we've put in a background there. Now we splattered paint all over our horse. That's fine, that's fine. Shadowfax doesn't mind because Shadowfax knows what's coming. All right, all right, now, now we've got our shadow facts here. There's the silhouette, the background. Now we're going to come in. This horse, oh, it was legendary for being a white mare. That's right. Oh, there we go. Put that in. Now let's just come down. Right down the nose there. There we go. What we're doing is we're just putting this color on. And we're just creating shapes here. We're just creating shapes right now. There we go. Now, of course, you know how, oh, horses, they have their jaw. That big rounded jaw there. We're just putting this in and we'll just build. We'll just build and build and add and add. So you see right there we come down and you can see that the horse's mouth and nose that start there. Oh, now I should mention, if any of you, if any of you are interested in, and oh, getting a print of old Timbo Tooks paintings or anything, coffee mugs, t-shirts, that sort of thing, you can go to, oh, Timbo Tooks Trading Post. That's right. I've got a link down in the description. You can go there and you can see the things that are available. And that just goes to help me buy more paints, more paints and things. And canvases. Oh, we go through a lot of canvases here. Uh, that's right. I just hope you enjoy these videos that maybe, maybe, maybe you need a little bit of a break during your week. And this can be a break for you. Uh, I love to think that. I've had some people tell me that, that they just like to watch the show and just, oh, just get lost in it. And that's fun. That's fun. All right. And we just come down this way. 
Now I'm I'm no great artist at doing these animals. In fact, this is this is a bit of a challenge for me, but I like to challenge myself from time to time. Oh, I like to paint the things that I feel I'm pretty comfortable painting. But it's all about trying to expand and trying to see where we can go with it. So we're going to come up here. There we go. And this guy and this will be a this will be an exercise of just alternating some colors here. And we just put this in Just using this fan brush. You can use any brush you want, really. I just, my one inch brush, brush I was going to use and it looked a little green from, from maybe my last painting I did. I didn't want a green horse. That would be a horse of a different color. That's right. So we stuck with, now you see my strokes are coming down this way because this is running down his snout. There we go. But when I get here, that's the front. So the strokes are going to, it's going to come down this way. There we go. And then maybe, maybe we do this here. And you see that fills in a lot of the, a lot of that color there. That just fills in for you. Having this black down on the background, it just gives you something to build off of. If you had a white canvas and you're trying to paint a white horse, oh, you get lost. You get lost. That's right. So we just come here with old shadow facts. And you may want to use a bigger brush. You may want to go. Now this, this, uh, it's dry, so there's not any paint down there. But I'm really kind of thinking this first, this is my, this is my wet layer I'm putting down right now. So I'm using a lot of paint doing this, but that's okay. Now you want to kind of start to think of how a, a horse, how the muscles in its neck are shaped. And it just kind of comes down this way and this way. There we go. And just, we're just coming. Now it's just putting in this, this little bit here. You'll put in some bright white and then work it down because that's what the shadows do. There we go. Don't want to lose that jaw there, but we just want to, that shadow will be on this part of, of old Shadow Fax's neck. The shadow on Shadow Fax. Oh, I'm not even trying. I didn't even try for that. The shadow on Shadow Fax. Oh, you all are silly. You all are silly. We're just putting this in here now. Somebody who really knows what they're doing might tell you, oh, what he's doing is all wrong there. That's okay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You can't say that playing around is wrong. There's no right or wrong way to play around, but you might find a better way to paint a horse. You might find a better way to paint a horse. This is just me playing around a little bit. There we go. We want to, you want to keep your angles going because it's not just going to be one angle. This, you know, there's these horses. They're very muscular. They have these muscles in here. You want to not just be all one color. That's right. Just work that in. The canvas will work with you. That'll show you how, how to go. Now 
And for right now, just leave a little line of separation there. We're going to come back and it's, it's going to be more shading that separates that. But for now, that's how we'll leave it. Now lately it seems that I've had some very thin paints and this this titanium white is a very stiff paint. It's very thick and that's a that's good. I like that. I need to try and find some some better paints than I've been painting with lately. Lately the paints have just been running away on me. Now you got to remember, this is where his leg would be. So this is the start of his shoulder muscles. So you have the muscles in the neck and then you have the muscles in the shoulder. So just have your direction switch right there. There we go. You don't want it all just moving one way. And we can come back. We can this is just putting down kind of a base and we'll come back and we'll put more highlights or we'll put some more shadow in. You'll see, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. There we go. Now I had some friends, they moved into a new hobbit hole and they had lots of paintings of horses and things decorating their hobbit hole. I know that's kind of weird for hobbits since hobbits don't ride horses, but you never can predict a hobbit. Anyway, so I saw their horse paintings and I thought, you know what? I've never really painted a horse and there's no better horse to try and paint than Shadowfax. That's right. So I think putting down that silhouette was probably the right way to go. You might have a different way or say, oh, Timbo, that's not the right way. I don't know. I don't know, but that worked out pretty well, I think. I think. There we go. And even just the lighter you go on it, it gives you more depth and shadow in there. So. I'm not going to come down so close to this bottom because my easel, oh, it's a dirty easel, a dirty easel. It, it's filled with some green and, and other shades down here. So I don't want to get into those too much. So I'm just going to leave this right now. I'll just leave that a little dark at the bottom. But then you can move this paint. That's the nice thing. With acrylic paints, once you put them on, they're stuck. They're dry. Like that acrylic we put underneath. But with this, we just build layer upon layer. That's right. So we have that dark underneath. You can put on some white. And then you just keep rubbing, just keep pulling and you're pulling it off is what you're doing. In some areas you're pulling it off, other areas you push it on. There we go. The biggest thing, you just want it to look natural. You just want those, those lines to come in. You want those to look natural. Come back up here. So you have to think about how the how the face is shaped. This is a big muscle on the jaw right here. Right? And then everything comes down here and this side. There we go. There we are. So we have that filled in pretty well. Have it filled in pretty well. Right. 
right up here. There we are. Now you just have to look at it and you see. You see where your eye would be here. This other eye we're not going to be able to see because we're only looking at the one side of Shadow Facts. But we know it's over there. Uh, that's right. So we're going to come. And just build up on that white right there. Now you can start putting that on a little thick. Put it on a little thick. Oh, I've seen some hobbits put it on a little thick at the Green Dragon. Mm, that's right. Well, we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Just come right down this way. There you go. And you just want to think of different shapes. Different shapes there. Where those shapes change. There we are. Like I said, you don't want it to be flat. We're just building up around this eye. Building up around that eye, that's right. There we are. Now we can come back and just some of the areas where it would be brighter. Just put that paint on a little thicker. That means it'll take a while for this to dry because that's really some thick paint there. There we go. Now I'm going to take this brush that's just white and I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that there. Let's see. I'm going to come into this one. This is, oh, I don't know. That's number five brush, whatever that is, whatever that is. I don't know. So we're going to come here. I'm just going to scoop up some of our titanium white, put it down there, and let's go into some of this ivory black. We're going to come up with a bit of a, a shadowy color, or more of a gray. And we're going to fill some of this in. Now, a trick when you're when you're doing horses, and I've noticed this just from being around horses, their nostrils kind of look like the number six or a backward six, depending on which way you're standing. So what we do is we just come here and we're just going to make that number six and we'll build upon this, but you'll see there. And we're just going to go lightly on the inside and then come over to this side. Oh, you're not going to see as much over there just because he's facing away. That's the other side there. So we do that. Now let's come under, under this lip here and we're just going to build up these colors. We're just going to build upon. Right there. There we go. Now I'm just going to go into some of this black and I'm going to Shade this down a bit.
There we go. And that's what we're just coming colors on top of colors on top of colors here. That's the way we do it. There we go. And we just start blending those together as they go up as snout. There we are. Now we're just going to come back. I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of that and go to some more of the white. And we'll bring the white back in. There we go. There we go. And we just, again, just build it up. That gives you the shading. That gives you the different shading. There we go. Now let's come under here. We just want to make that Oops. There we go. We just want to come here and we're making this a shadow over here. Just just giving some definition. There we go. And the darker we make it over here, not too dark, but we just, it will help the other stand out and be brighter. We just want to create where that eye is going to be as well. Right where that eye is going to be. And we're just creating the shape of it. That's all we do. We're just bringing that shape in. There we are.
There we go. And shadow facts. Oh, was such a bright horse with eyes that captured knowledge. There we go. And you just do that shading around the eye. There we are. You just build upon that. There we are. There we go. Just come back with your deep black and just Put that in. There we go. And you can come down here and work this. It's just a matter of going back and forth and working it in. Now we want to start defining that shape of the face. Just work it around. And you see we have a lot of different colors that we're getting. We can just pick up some and just mix it right here on the canvas. And you just work that in. There we go. And this, of course, a lot of it I'm just kind of doing on the fly and it takes a bit of concentration. So if I'm a bit quiet there, it's just because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing too. So, oh, let's just, let's just clean off that brush. I'm going to clean it off. Right down there in the rubbish bin, I'm going to come back to some of this white. And now we'll just start toning down that shadow there.
There we go. Oh, okay. Imagine that. The battery on my pocket Palantir died, so we missed the finish of that. But I, I didn't have much left. I just put some hair on the mane. And what I'll do is actually, when this, when this dries a bit, I'll probably come back and tweak some details. But I just wanted to show you painting a horse, how much fun that could be, and painting shadow facts. Yes, that turned out, I'm quite happy with it. I, it's my first horse I've ever painted. I've drawn one before, but not with the oil paints. So I'm happy you could join me for that. Thank you for joining me today. Have a good week. Goodbye, and God bless.